Hello everyone. Do you know zinc plays an important role in more than 300 enzymatic processes in your body and plays a crucial role in maintaining your immune health, your skin health, as well as your thyroid health. So let's talk about dangers of zinc deficiency that you should be knowing about today. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshil Gupta. I'm a functional medicine expert. I help people make personalized functional medicine plans to help reverse their chronic conditions. So zinc is an important mineral for your body because it supports your immunity, it supports your hormones, as well as it supports the DNA synthesis as well as cell functioning of your body. So literally each and every organ of your body needs zinc for proper functioning, especially your thyroid. Now, several people are zinc deficient and they don't even know about it. So it is very important first to know what causes zinc deficiency are you at risk for zinc deficiency and what are the dangers of zinc deficiency? So let's get started. So let's first talk about what are the causes of zinc deficiency and which people are at higher risk for zinc deficiency. So the number one reason of zinc deficiency is poor absorption of zinc from your gut. Now the important part of zinc is, is that your body cannot make zinc. So you have to rely on external sources, mainly food or supplements to get your zinc. Now, if your gut is not in good shape, it cannot absorb zinc. So we have seen that the older adults, people who are above 60 years of age, they cannot absorb zinc as good as the other people. The other reasons are if you are going through gut related problems like leaky gut, like IBS, like Crohn's disease, like celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, SIBO, whole bunch of these problems also interfere or do not let zinc being absorbed from your gut. The second reason of zinc deficiency is poor intake of zinc through food. Yes, there are several diets which are low in zinc, especially people who are eating vegan and vegetarian foods are at higher risk for zinc deficiency. Because the problem is that several vegetarian foods, especially vegetables, have something called phytates which interferes with the zinc absorption through your food. So that's one reason. Second reason is that there are only few foods which are high in zinc if you are a vegan or vegetarian. And if you're not eating those food, again, that can lead to zinc deficiency. So if you are vegan or vegetarian, it is very important to make sure that you are eating foods which are high in zinc or you're taking a zinc supplement. The third reason for zinc deficiency can be medications or supplements that you might be taking. Especially supplements for calcium supplementation and iron supplementation can interfere with zinc absorption in your body. So make sure you're careful with that. The second category of medicines which can interfere with zinc absorption is antacids. Several people have issues with acidity or heartburn issues and they are taking over-the-counter antacids or acid reflux medications called PPIs and they all interfere with zinc absorption, so your zinc levels might also be low. The third category of medications are some blood pressure medications called diuretics. These medications causes kidneys to excrete excess amount of zinc from your body and sometimes can also cause zinc deficiency in long-term basis. So you see these medications and even supplements can cause zinc deficiency. The next reason of zinc deficiency is higher requirement of your body for zinc. So there are certain conditions in your body which will require excess amount of zinc. So these are conditions like if you are pregnant female or if you're breastfeeding females, then you definitely need more zinc. Growing children also need more zinc. If you're chronically sick with hormonal issues or gut related problems, or if you have skin related problems or autoimmune issues that again requires more amount of zinc than a normal person and that also can be leading to zinc deficiency. The next reason of zinc deficiency is alcohol intake. It has been shown in research that people who are drinking alcohol on a regular basis are at higher risk for zinc deficiency. So that can be another reason. So you see these are all the reasons or causes of zinc deficiency and if any of these causes might be pertinent for you, then it is very important to know the symptoms or the dangers of zinc deficiency. And that's what we are going to talk about now. So one of the major dangers of zinc deficiency is that it can cause hair problems. Yes, it has been shown that zinc deficiency leads to thinning of hair, brittle hair, as well as hair loss. So this can be a major problem. The next danger of zinc deficiency is mood changes. Several people who are low in zinc will feel anxious or feel stressed out or they might have low mood. 
So this can all be related to zinc deficiency because zinc plays an important role in neurotransmitters in your body. The next danger of zinc deficiency is feeling tired. Yes, zinc plays an important role in energy production in your body. And a lot of people who are low in zinc feel tired all the time or they feel muscle weakness or they have bone pains. All of these things can be related to zinc deficiency. Zinc plays a very important role for skin health and zinc deficiency can lead to several skin disorders. It can lead to eczema. It can lead to acne problems. It can lead to dermatitis. It can slow your wound healing. It can also cause wrinkles. All of those problems can be because of zinc deficiency. The next problem with zinc deficiency is that it can cause thyroid problems like hypothyroidism as well as autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. Zinc plays an important role in production of your thyroid hormone as well as conversion of thyroid hormone. And zinc deficiency can lead to triggering of thyroid problems. Zinc also plays an important role in brain development and brain health. So zinc deficiency causes brain fog, can also lead to poor concentration and not able to remember things. The next danger of zinc deficiency is that people are more allergic to things and sometimes it can also lead to mast cell disorder. In these issues, people are more susceptible to allergies. They have runny nose, stuffy nose, they have highs all over body, all of these things are related to zinc deficiency because zinc plays an important role in maintaining the proper immune function of your body and that also causes increased susceptibility to infections like sinus infection, bronchitis, cough, cold, all of those problems. Zinc is important for proper gut health. Zinc is involved in maintaining the integrity of the gastrointestinal lining in your gut as well as for your digestive function. So zinc deficiency can lead to abdominal pain, diarrhea, several gut-related infections also. So you see, these are all the signs and symptoms of zinc deficiency and all the dangers that you should be knowing about. Now, the next question most people have is that, how can I test for zinc deficiency? So there are several kinds of tests available to check for zinc deficiency. One is blood test to check for zinc. The other one is plasma test to check for zinc. The next one is to check the zinc in urine. And then there is test to check for zinc in your hair. And then there is an oral zinc test. Now, unfortunately, all of these tests cannot give us the perfect answer in terms of whether you are zinc deficient or not. And that's the reason they are not ordered very frequently. But out of all of these tests, the most reliable test is to check your zinc levels in your plasma. But very few practitioners are aware of this test and most of the labs are not able to do it. So you might not be aware of it. And that's the reason you might have to rely on these signs and symptoms to know whether you are zinc deficient or not. Now to know more about which foods you should be eating for zinc and what supplements to eat for the zinc, please check my channel. And also in the description of this video, where I have put other video links, which talks about how to tackle zinc deficiency and which food are high in zinc and which supplements are best for zinc deficiency. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.